A microgram is barely visible. If one microgram of butane is set on fire, how many molecules of carbon dioxide will be produced? Well, our strategy should be to go from micrograms of butane to grams of butane, recognizing that there's a million micrograms in a gram. We can then convert to moles of butane, since 58 grams is a mole. We then can convert to moles of carbon dioxide, since it will make four times as many moles, or molecules, really. And then we can convert directly to uh, molecules, since the mole is a number, Avogadro's number. This is four steps, and it will take us to molecules of carbon dioxide. One million micrograms is a gram. Notice how it cancels. 58 grams of butane, that's 12 for each carbon and 1 for each hydrogen, is equivalent to a mole of butane. However, burning a mole of butane will make four times as many moles of carbon dioxide. And each mole of carbon dioxide, don't make the mistake of going to grams there, we don't need to, is equivalent to the number that is equivalent to a mole, which is Avogadro's number, 6 times 10 to the 23 molecules of carbon dioxide. This tends to dominate everything, giving you a very large number, and we have enough butane, even though it's way less than a drop, to make 4.1 times 10 to the 16th grams of carbon dioxide.